Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me for another Infinite Warfare video. In this one I've got another nuclear or deatomizer strike to show you. But I'm also looking for your help in this video, trying to figure something out, work out if I've got something wrong. But let me talk you through the start of this gameplay. So that's the very first kill I get in this gameplay. Then I do the wall run. Go around the back of the map and I encounter these two enemies here. Now if you encounter two enemies against yourself in Infinite Warfare, most of the time you're going to die. 2v1 is not good in Infinite Warfare, you want to avoid those scenarios. But that was the only death that I actually have in this particular gameplay and then as you see me try to figure out what this guy is doing, that's my first kill and the start of my score streak and I actually go on a 43 score streak. It's very important to point this out to you at the start of the video. I finish up with a 44 kill 1 death gameplay and that is important for the theme of this gameplay because I want to talk about what I was trying to do and I think I maybe encountered a bug in the game but possibly I've got something wrong I'm a bit confused about how things work but I want to talk through what I was thinking and you can maybe enlighten me have I got something wrong did the game just have a strange moment let me know what's happened in this one I'd appreciate your thoughts it'll help me going forward as I maybe have a look at doing this sort of thing again but anyway, this is my fourth nuclear or deatomizer strike in Infinite Warfare. If you'd like to see the other three and you haven't done so, I'll put my links in the description to my videos. But this was my second attempt ever and my second attempt in a row at going for a juggernaut medal in Infinite Warfare. I'd been getting a few nuclears and I thought, why not go for a juggernaut medal? And let me clarify how these two things are different from each other, or at least how I think they're different. This may be where I'm going wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've got the right idea. So if you want to get a deatomizer strike, otherwise called the nuclear, you need to use a gun with the nuclear perk, which as I'm doing in this gameplay, the MV4 Fallout, and you need to go on a 25 gun streak without dying. So you need to get 25 gun kills, you can't die, and if you get any other sort of kills, like with a score streak or whatever, they don't count towards getting the nuclear. So using the nuclear perk gun, you get 25 gun kills, no deaths, boom, you get your deatomizer strike. Now this is my fourth one, I get one in this video. But I'd have thought I would actually like to go for the Juggernaut Medal. Now the Juggernaut Medal, as far as I understand it, is a 30 score streak. So you can contribute towards your 30 kills with gun kills, you can use score streaks, you can use anything that gets you a kill and it all counts towards your total of a 30 score streak. And that lets you get the Juggernaut Medal. Now, I have seen people get the nuclear with a, a gun with a nuclear perk and then they continue going, get 30 kills and they get the juggernaut medal. So what I actually said I would do is go for the juggernaut medal and this is my second attempt at getting it. I tried in the game prior to this one, I haven't actually got that gameplay up on my channel, but I think I'll actually show you it because I decided I would equip the warden, which tends to get a few kills and also the RC8, two quite high score streaks, going to get me a few kills, contribute towards the juggernaut. So in the game prior to this one I set up those score streaks, decided I used my NV4 Fallout class and I went for the 30 and on my very first attempt I went 28 kills and 0 deaths. I simply run out of time, I think I was actually like 3 or 4 kills off getting the nuclear and obviously 2 off getting the juggernaut. Next game come up on this particular map, using the same setup I thought okay let's go for this again and I'm pretty pleased with this gameplay, I got 44 kills, 1 death and 43 score streak. So I thought I did more than enough to get the juggernaut but for some reason the juggernaut medal never come up on the screen and this was puzzling me, I'm a bit confused, have I picked up how you get these things wrong? Is there a glitch in the game? I don't know what's happened but maybe you can leave a comment in the comment section, let me know your thoughts, let me know if you've tried something similar and got the juggernaut and if you think my game was glitched or have I misunderstood how things work. But I'm pausing the game at different points, you can see here, just so you can see the score, I was in a 25-1 at that point, so that means I'm in a 24 streak, so I died once at the beginning of the game. 
So I've got 24 in a row. We're getting towards trying to get the nuclear, but also if you notice I've had the warden up the RC8. They've been getting kills for me as well. So I'm thinking I must be close to this juggernaut. When is it going to pop up on the screen? And I was obviously noticing as well, I'm getting close to getting the nuclear and my mind was getting a little bit scrambled. I thought, right, hang on, what, what's going on here? Why is there no juggernaut medal? I'm really trying to get the juggernaut, but I'm getting close to the nuclear as well. Should I go for it? Should I call in score streaks when I get them? But I decided to keep my focus on getting the juggernaut and I just kept going for kills, calling in my score streaks and I thought, Right, it's going to activate at some point. Now, if you look at the clock now, we're at 2 minutes, 4 seconds left. And I'm looking for enemies. I'm desperately trying to get kills. And I must be pretty close to getting the actual nuclear at this point. I'm not quite sure how far off I am. It may pop up with some of these kills. Nope, not that one. But I'm guessing we're maybe around about 5 off at the moment. Something like that. And this guy comes round, get him, there we go, five off. So we're five off, we've got the Relentless, and I'm thinking, okay, that's four away. Now, I've got the Warden, do I call it in? Do I go for the Nuclear? Has Juggernaut come up and I've missed it? But I'm thinking, well, it'll be coming up unstoppable after every kill beyond 30. Now, I'm only three away, and pretty tense at this time because there's 85, that's 86, 87 now kills on my team. Look how quickly it can change. Once it reaches 100 the game's over. Once the timer reaches 0 the game's over. I've called in a warden. It could eat up the remaining kills and wow look at this guy. He almost takes me out. I've only got one left for the nuclear. I'm trying to look at all the medals that's popping up in the screen. I'm not seeing anything about uh, Juggernaut but boom there's the Deatomizer strike. And then I'm thinking, will I call it in? Why is the juggernaut came up? I'll keep pushing more. I'm thinking there must be something strange going on. Then I thought, well, I'll try and get 30 gun kills. But time and the kill counter was running out, so I thought I'm not going to be able to do that. So I ended up calling in the deatomizer strike, but the juggernaut medal never came up. Now, I'm sure I've seen other people play using the same sort of setup of nuclear gun and score streaks and so on and get the juggernaut but why did I not get it? Was it a glitch or am I getting confused and have I picked something up wrong? I hope you've enjoyed another nuclear gameplay. I hope you can leave some comments and let me know what you think's happened here. Maybe I've misunderstood it. Help me if I know going forward if I try this sort of thing again but I'm interested to know anyway. There you go, 44 kills, 1 death. Very good gameplay, but no juggernaut. What happened? Who knows? And I'll see you soon for another gameplay.